How you doing, good people? Just a bit at him. All right, so y'all know I've been talking about Konami and Capcom and how they pretty much ran things during during the 8-bit era. Um, on the NES, they were the top two third parties, bar none. Well, Cap, while Capcom, you know, they pretty much they pretty much cut their teeth on ports of um, Commando in 1942, stuff like that. Konami had their own backlog of uh, arcade titles that they were porting over. And um, one of them was pretty cool. You control this Jeep. The Jeep um, would ride around this this island and fight its way through this island, rescuing hostages and pretty much blowing up anything that fired a shot at it. There's nothing remarkably innovative about this game. There's nothing remarkably flashy about this game. Just pick up a controller or stand in front of a jo grab a joystick and get the shooting and that title it's it proved to be pretty popular on the NES um, and not just the NES on a lot of different platforms over the years um, in America in America it got the same it got a different name from some of the other versions but um that game is Jackal. Now, Jackal, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, you can even see it from the packaging right there. Um, now, I don't remember if this one uses the Konami code, the classic Konami code. Um, the up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, B, A, start. I don't know if it uses that. Um, however, if it does, you get 30 lives. Um, Jackal is also pretty well known for not being the easiest game on the NES or the easiest title that Konami put out, period. Um, and I mean, I didn't find it really hard. It's a fun, it's a fun little diversion if you just want like something, just want some mindless fun, just pick it up, shoot houses, rescue some hostages blow some stuff up. Um, graphics are graphics are pretty common for that point in time. I think this game came this port came out in eighty eight. Um, I mean it's a nineteen eighty eight port of a title that came out in like eighty six, eighty seven. I mean you got if you're looking for um, some remarkable breakthroughs in graphics in Jackal were missing the point of the game. Um, like I said, it's a fun little diversion, something to get you, something to, you know, kill a few minutes. Um, once you're tired of your Zeldas or your Fax Anadus and stuff like that. This has been the 8-Bit Animal. Um, you should check this game out. It's pretty... Like I said, it's it's a fun game. It's at its core. That's all it needs to be. And I mean, isn't that what all video games are supposed to be?